So let us see the modifications of Raoult's law. See the basic Raoult's law, what we derived is P naught minus P by P naught is equal to X B, right? Now this is the relative lowering of vapor pressure and this the mole fraction of solute. See this can be modified as P naught minus P by P naught is equal to. Now the mole fraction of solute can be given as small n by small n plus capital S. Okay. Now we can go for two different modifications. See for a very dilute solution. When I say a very dilute solution, the number of moles of solute will be, of course, very much less when compared to the number of moles of the solvent. Because it's a very dilute solution, you'll have more and more amount of the solvent. Okay. So, small n in the denominator can be neglected. Isn't it? Because, you know, it is a much, much less when compared to capital N. So, you can just neglect this, taking this into consideration because small n is much, much less when compared to capital N. You have to keep it the same way. You cannot neglect it, right? So, that's it. Now, neglecting small n in the denominator, we get P naught minus P by P naught is equal to small n by capital N, right? Now, this can be finally written as P naught minus P by P naught is equal to W by M dash into M double dash by capital W, isn't it? So because we have actually imposed a condition, I mean this, you know, this is called condensed form of Raoult's law or reduced form of Raoult's law or simplified form of Raoult's law. Okay. Now let us take another condition which is applicable for both uh, dilute as well as concentrated solution. <clears throat> okay. Now, when we go for this, we will not be imposing any condition. Come on. Again, it's P naught minus P by P naught is equal to, of course, XB, that is nothing but small n 
by small n plus capital N. Okay. So taking reciprocal. It can be written as P naught by P naught minus P is equal to small n plus capital N by small n. Okay. Now this can be written as one plus capital N by small n. Yes, nothing but small n plus capital N by small n. Now taking this one onto the other side, P naught by P naught minus P minus one is equal to small n by capital N. Now this can be written as P naught minus P naught plus P by P naught minus P is equal to capital N by small n. Now this, of course, is written as P by P naught minus P is equal to capital N by small n. Okay, let us again take reciprocal. Now it becomes normal. Then it becomes P naught minus P. Look at this. Here you got P. That is equal to small n by capital N. Now, this of course can be written as small w by m dash into m double dash by capital W. Now, of course, this is a modified expression. This is very important. But the only change that we made, I mean, only difference that we got here is earlier it was P naught minus P by P naught. Now it is only P naught minus P by P. Okay. Now let us let us actually go for uh, the relation between relative lowering of vapor pressure and molality. Now take the same relation. See, here I would actually like to say one very important point. You have to check whether the solution is a dilute one or concentrated one if you want to use P naught minus P by P naught relation. But for using this relation, you need not check anything. So rather than going with P naught minus P by P naught, I would actually like to go with uh, this P naught minus P by P relation, right? Now, that uh, actually that is the reason why I have not written RLVP because RLVP is P naught minus P by P. Now, let me simply take it this way. Multiplying by 1000 by M double dash on both sides. Okay, the above equation modifies as can be written as P naught minus P by P into thousand by M double dash is equal to 
small w by m dash into m double dash by capital W into thousand by m double dash. Now this is nothing but molality. Same thing is equal to molality. Now this is the relation between the vapor pressures and the molality. Very important one. Okay. So this is completely about Raoult's law one. Now let us go for Raoult's law. Two. And this is actually for a solution. Containing. Two volatile liquid. Okay. I mean, unlike uh, the previous one where we had uh, one uh, volatile liquid and the other, a non-volatile solute, okay, volatile liquid solvent and a non-volatile solid solute, right. Now, in this, we will have two different phases. Let us First, consider the liquid phase, then we'll go for the vapor phase. Now, coming to the liquid phase, consider Two volatile liquid. You can take A and B or of course one and two. See, because both are volatile, both get evaporated. Isn't so the vapor will have the molecules of both one and two, right? Now, in this case, it can be written as. Partial vapor pressure See, because both are volatile, both form the vapor, both exert vapor pressure in the mixture. When you want to talk about the vapor pressure exerted by one of the component, let us say P1. I mean the partial vapor pressure of the first component is directly proportional to the mole fraction of the first component, isn't it? In a similar way, P2 can be given as directly proportional to H2. Partial vapor pressure in general, is directly proportional to mole fraction. Partial vapor pressure of a component, we can say, is directly proportional to the mole fraction of that component. Let us write it here.
okay because it is in the solution we have to consider the mole fraction of that particular component in the solution right now this can be modified as come on removing the proportionality we can simply write the constant so based on our discussion in raoult's law 1 let me write this as p1 is equal to p not 1 into x1 in fact this particular step involves two three step okay p1 of course can be written as equal to k into x1 and considering the condition x1 is equal to uh, say 1 or like that we can actually write it this way similarly p2 is equal to p not 2 into x isn't it so this is the regular thing according to raoult's law now according to dalton we know that the total pressure is equal to sum of the partial pressures here in this case let us consider this as the total vapor pressure is equal to the sum of partial vapor pressure okay now so let us write this as p total is equal to p not 1 into x1 plus p not 2 into x2 of course can be modified if only x1 is known x2 can be taken as 1 minus x1 and if only x2 is known x1 can be taken as 1 minus x1 i mean 1 minus x2 right let's see p not into x1 plus p not yes into 1 minus x1 so that is equal to p not 1 into 1 minus x2 plus p not 2 into x2 either you can go with this or this if only x1 is known the second equation if only x2 is known then go for the third equation that's it now going for the vapor free in vapor free let us consider their partial pressure sign the mole fractions again the mole fractions are taken as say y1 and y2 even here also making use of another important relation from dalton's law which can be given as partial pressure of a particular component the ith component is equal to mole fraction of ith component into the total pressure okay so now
taking the first component into consideration, P1 can be written as Y1 into P total. Where, of course, this Y1 is the mole fraction of first component in vapor field. Okay. Then. Similarly, P2 can be written as equal to Y2 into P total. Right. So actually, let us modify this equation. Y1 is equal to P1 by P total. Right. What is P1 here? P1 is P0 1 into X1 by again P0 1 into X1 plus P naught two into X. Okay. Now P two is equal to y2 into p total. So y2 is p2 by p total. Nothing but y2 is equal to p naught 2 into x2 by p naught 1 into x1 plus p naught 2 into x2. Okay. Now let me give you an important principle. See, because, okay, let us take it right from the beginning again. Uh, and derive an important relation. P1 is equal to Y1 into P total. Right. P2 is equal to Y2 into P total. Okay. Considering yes, the P one and P two in the form of X one and X two. XA plus XB is equal to 1. Sum of the mole fractions of all the components in a solution can be taken as 1. See, we can actually consider This relation and uh, can actually modify the equation as 1 by Pt is equal to, I mean P total is equal to Ya by P0A plus 
वाई बी बाय पी नॉट बी ओके नाउ इन दिस केस वी नीड टू अगेन कंसीडर व्हाट पी टोटल इज ओके इन टर्म्स ऑफ x1 and x2 even here also we can actually take it as x1 plus x2 is equal to 1 okay of course we can we can have two more steps but can be directly written as this considering all the other relations in terms of x1 and x2 okay 